The 11th National Chairperson of the Society of Women Accountants of Nigeria, Mrs. Hilda Ozor, wants members of the Institute to uh, be well-rounded professionals in all aspects of life. Mrs. Ozor said this in Lagos during our investiture. Abimbola Akintaju filed in this report from our studios. Established in September 1978, with associate status ascribed by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, Society of Women Accountants of Nigeria is, among others, to uphold the tenet of the profession, which includes accuracy, integrity, and setting standards among female members. Gathered in this hall are governors, wives of governors, top government representatives, business executives, members of SWAN, friends and well-wishers of the society for the investiture of the 11th president of the society, wife of the governor of Lagos State, Dr. Ibiron Kesson Olu, wants the national chairperson and members of the society to remain a driving force behind positive change, both within the profession and society at large. I call on all professional accountants at this investiture to leverage your collective voice, voices to influence policies and practices that promote gender equality, work-life balance by championing flexible work arrangements, providing diversity in leadership positions, and advocating for fair compensation. We have to develop problem solving and analytical skills. Always remember that there is virtually nothing new. What we call adversity today might have happened before. So take your time to read, research thoroughly, and find creative solutions. As a national chairperson, Mrs. Hilda Ozo takes over the leadership of the society. She highlighted some areas her administration will prioritize. She takes over. I will advise her to uphold that for which women accountants are known for. Uh, without that, then women in the profession uh, will need a rallying point. We want to mentor the young female chartered accountants to be able to and, and uh, mold them to the point where they will be employable. We know what the employers want and we guide them to achieve that. Number two, we're going to have faculties of well-experienced women that have had cutting edges in their various fields. We're going to bring them into the faculty and they will be the people to train this younger generation, the Gen Z generation. The national chairperson says she will provide purposeful leadership for the institute and provide solutions to challenges facing its members. The 